Support for The Hub is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below-the-waist grooming. Manscaped offers precision-engineered tools for your family jewels. They obsess over their technological developments to provide you the best tools for your grooming experience. Manscaped is trusted by over 2 million men worldwide, and I got an exclusive offer for you guys. 20% off plus free shipping with the code HUB, H-U-B. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code HUB, H-U-B, at Manscaped.com. The best teams historically in the NFL are teams that draft wisely, develop their players properly, and then re-sign them in a manner that shows they care about the players and what they're building here within their franchise. For the past couple of years or so, the Giants haven't exactly been an example of that, although they have had success historically over the past 20 to 30 years of drafting well in the second round. In comes along Dalvin Thomason, a player that's been playing on this team for four years now with a losing record and somebody that wants to come back. We need to talk. The New York Giants are in a very weird position right now in terms of the 2021 offseason. They have a couple of free agents, particularly on the defensive side of the football, that are must-need bringbacks. But the question is, can they even afford to bring them all back? Because their cap space right now, considering the COVID-19 situation and what the NFL has been going through, is considerably low, sitting at $906,453, according to OverTheCap.com. One of these players that they need to bring back is defensive tackle Dalvin Thomason, second round pick of the Giants back in 2017, and a player that slowly but surely built his way up to being one of the key pieces on this defense and the defensive line in particular of the New York Giants, not someone that necessarily gains all the attention with his statistics and with his flashy plays, but someone that went in the trenches, does the dirty work, gets the job done, and overall helps out the defense. Now, of course, we all know about the more flashy, the more popular and statistically sound guy in Leonard Williams, at least this past 2020 season, who had a career best year with 11 and a half sacks and you name all the numbers. Somebody that statistically was second only to Aaron Donald as a pass rushing defensive tackle and of course that his thing in the run game as usual is also a free agent for the Giants and these two guys are kind of in a tandem right now where we would love to re-sign them both but we just know the possibility. Now we know the importance of re-signing Williams and his contract. Dalton Thompson is a little bit of something different. He's probably going to be worth half as much as Lauren Williams on the open market market uh, you know people estimate anywhere from 10 to 13 million dollars is what he's going to sign for and Thompson has even said that he'd be willing to take the quote-unquote hometown discount for the Giants so how important is it that we bring this guy back like I mentioned he's not necessarily the guy that would catch your eye but he does his job this is something the Giants clearly know as he was a defensive captain in just this past year and he was a stalwart on the defensive line that helped the Giants to be the 10th best rushing defense in the league, allowing only 111.4 rushing yards a game. And Thomason was once again the consistent player he's been his entire career, starting all 16 games as he's done since 2017, his rookie year, finishing with three and a half sacks, a tie for his career high, 49 combined tackles, 25 solo, eight tackles for loss, 10 quarterback hits which was a career high and then there's things that the stats sheet doesn't necessarily track and like I said in the first we need to talk episode about Andrew Thomas there's a lot of stuff that doesn't show up on the stats sheet that you need to take into account for example double teams right I know some websites track this but not all of them of course if you have PFF elite or edge or whatever they call it you'd get it but Dalvin Thompson has faced quite a bit of double teams this year that's what allowed players like Leonard Williams to get success like Blake Martinez at the middle linebacking level middle linebacking court to get success you know he had a great year for the Giants as well whenever he was in run defense he was definitely helped out by Dalvin Thompson whenever he was blitzing up the middle you know for sure DT had a hand in it and while Blake Martinez is a great linebacker in his own right won the top 10 maybe top 5 in the league currently at his position 140 tackles in his first year with this Giants team certainly was helped a little bit by Dalvin Thompson. You don't even need to go too far from Blake Martinez and from the middle linebacking position to see how much his teammates appreciate him. Logan Ryan, the free safety veteran that came over to the Giants in the 2020 offseason, also recognizes what Dalvin brings to the table. He said that he thinks Dalvin is having a good year as anybody on the defense. 
Leonard Williams is having the great year statistically, but Dalvin is having a better year for our team and what we ask him to do. And you can bet your bottom dollar the coaches recognize this. We have smart coaches in Patrick Graham, who by the way was the defensive line coach when Dalvin was a rookie here with the Giants back in 2017, so he knows all about him. He's probably knows Dalvin better than any other coach on the defense right now or on the team in general. And Joe Judge, uh, somebody that's definitely keeping a keen eye on the entire team and looking to see who he wants back on this roster. A teacher, a, a coach that says, don't tell me what you can't do. Tell me what you can do. And Dalvin has been doing whatever the team asks of him for the past couple of years now. Like I said, the Giants have had a pretty good track record of drafting players in the second round for a long time now. Michael Strahan, uh, O.C., Chris Snee, Corey Webster, Amani Toomer, Tiki Barber, all these guys taken in the second round. More recently, you think about a guy in Landon Collins who was also taken in the second round, who was a great player for the Giants, and th that's kind of where the trend falls apart. We were able at one point to retain these guys because they how important they were to the team. Um, then... Somewhere along the line, maybe around the time where the Giants start to fall down a little bit, you know, you talk about Linval Joseph as well. The Giants really didn't retain these guys that they probably should have. Um, and we should end that trend. Joe Judge wants to build a winning culture. He wants to build a winning team. He wants to get back to the days of Giants football when it meant something. Maybe this is the step in that direction, re-signing Dalvin Tomlinson, no matter what it takes. Because like I said, the guy has such an impact on the team. Not all of it could be tracked on just a sheet of paper. And you gotta think to yourself, this applies to Leonard Williams as well. What message does it send to the team? When you got somebody like Dalvin Tomlinson, who's been playing here for four years with a losing record, wants to come back, has done nothing but been a great player on and off the field. Remember now, you hear nothing about Dalvin Thompson off the field. Absolutely quiet as a dormouse, extremely friendly. The guy is, is just a really nice guy to know, seems fun to hang out with. He's just been a good giant. What message does that send to the team when you don't try to resign him or you know you just don't resign him at all? You gotta think about that as well. But that's where I'm heading to the comments section. You guys know how these videos go. They're shorter than usual, but they're there for a reason. Because the comments is where we gotta head to. I've provided you guys with the little bit of statistics, a little bit of facts, and a little bit of context. Now we gotta go over there, and that is where we need to talk. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.